Alright Cubs, how's it hanging? And welcome back to my channel. So today is Battle of Frenzy. So I thought I would do the test between the T10 lasers against the T9 cannons. Because my last video, when I did it against the uranium mine, people was like, yeah, you've only got so much to battle with. Of course you're going to win. So what I thought I'd do is Sparrowhawk. There, she has kindly volunteered for me to attack her twice so I'm in no alliance and she's in a farm alliance to make the stats more equal now I believe she just has shy of 305% long range attack and if we just go over to mine I have 390 so we're near enough close enough to the same stats in a sense so this will be a perfect time for a test so what I've done here, first of all, is I boosted my march and I've also got two preset marches already. So as you can see, she is at 14.9 million, almost 15 million battle power. Uh, I'm only just 12.1 million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the first attack uh, with probably my lasers. And then I'll launch the second attack with my cannons just to show you the end results. So, as you can see here, preset march. See, now if anyone says anything about the destroyer, 6,500, I always believe you need to send at least 30% of your front line in every attack. So my main front line I use is the destroyers slash shredders. So I'm going to send 6,500 of them with 6,000 EMP cannons, one of each troop, full zombies, which I ain't got much left, and... 93,959 snipers. So let's send out the first attack, see what happens. We thought we'd do this test simply because we battle frenzy, we both won't lose any troops. Great time for testing. So we have the march to land first, and what we do is we'll watch, we'll watch the battle the first time, see if we can see what goes wrong where. As you can see, very small bar for me. So let's see how much damage these do. So there you go, doing all the work. Snipers on one side. Let's see how far I got there. Right, 60k wounded. Almost 61k. Now let's check the stats, see what we got. So as you can see, my laser's got 26,627 kills uh, and suffered wounded of 4,702. So give me just two seconds, let's see if she's healed yet. So I'll just click on someone, no, she's not healed yet. Just give her just a few seconds to heal, and we'll have a Another go at it. Well, about it, let me just heal mine. See what I need, because I know I ain't got that much speed to recover fully. So, oh, well, just a few shy of shredders. So, I just recover a few shredders just to show you. Just to make sure I've got the same amount of troops. Need all my zombies. Like I said, I'm just going to make it equal uh, so we know it's all fair. So let me just recover these. Then I'll check to see if she's recovered hers. Let's just see, is she recovered? Yep, she's recovered. So Sparrowhawk's fully recovered back to the same BP as before, as you can see. Um, and yep, I've got a full march now. So same again, but this time we're using cannons. So as you know, Supreme Cannons take 10 troops, Uranium Cannons only take 5. So we double the Uranium Cannons to what we got for lasers. So as before, I've got 5 of Snipers. Simple reason being is, it won't let me add one Supreme Shielder because I've added one Supreme Cannon, which took 10. 
when previous March I only used one cannon and it only had took five spaces. So this is going to be five less snipers, not going to be much of a difference. See what happens here. So like I stated, she has got the same BP as before. Not scouted her because of simple reason being is. Don't want to scroll, scroll through and check every single minute troop to make sure she's got identical. But she's fully recovered to what I can see. Let's see how the cannons do, shall we? This game, small amount on the top bar. And that's the end of that one. So 59,943. Let's have a look. So 25,621. Let's go back on you again. So as you can see, between the cannons and the lasers, there is a very minute difference in the kills. So let's just see. So on the lasers, we have 2,627. Let's just check on the cannons. And the cannons got 25,621. So the difference between the lasers and the cannons is only 1,006 kills difference. Now, realistically, in my eyes, 1006 is not really a drastic amount of difference. So now here's the catch. What takes longer to heal? So because we've done the battle frenzy, let's go into the heal, deselect all. So all the cannons are lost in that. It takes one day, 18 hours, 17 minutes. As you can see, my cannons only take one day, four hours. It's a 14 hour difference. So now when you're using SOS and you're using lasers or cannons, whichever is your preference, you can see there is, it may not seem drastic, but with your speeds, the drastic amount of recovery time. 14 hours is a lot in speeds. Especially when you're using them on near enough every non loss event, or even if you're using them just for your SOS. So, my personal suggestion, what I'm going to be using in the future, plus not only that, the next tier for the cannons uh, is at Castle 34, I believe. So, I believe cannons is going to be the way forward. Even at T, what this tier now, tier 9, so what. You know, it's one tier less than the lasers, 1,000 kill difference, but 14 hours less build time to recover. It, you know, my eyes, there's no other choice for me. Cannons is going to be way forward. Cheaper to recover in the long run. They're doing you know, the same damage as lasers. And as you saw, the two attacks, it's just, just to prove on both reports. She had 1.3 million 8.2129 troops. And there you go, 1382129 again. So as you see, identical troops. Uh, the losses, the wounded difference, you had these 3,000 difference. Bearing in mind though, what I did send in both room was nearly the same. And the kill ratio was not really much difference between the cannons and the lasers. As you can see, 59.9k on that one for wounded for and 60.7k on that one. That's really the difference between the lasers and the cannons only. Snipers, zombies and shredders have all got the same kills as before. Enough identical. So I hope people can now look at the bigger picture uh, and see the difference between the lasers and the cannons. I've done a live test on someone with 1.3 million troops, uh, a lot more BP. Took a hit, I've got to wait now till end of frenzy just to recover my troops because I ain't got enough speed for them, as you saw. But in the end, 
positive side for lasers. There isn't really much difference to the cannons in my eyes, so there's no positive side to them. Positive side to the cannons, they get the one tier less than lasers. They get enough identical kills to the lasers, and there's a lot of less hour time for recovery. So as always, please like and subscribe and get me ma name out there. If you help me, I can help you more. Until next time, take care.